Don't you start your shit. Stop. What it do, what it is, it's your boy, Shafter, a.k.a. Drunk Wizard, a.k.a. Mr. Know-It-All, a.k.a. your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. We are knocking them out back to back to back. <coughs> Excuse me. So, right now what we're going to do is something a little different, something a little fun. Uh, I've heard a, a couple rumblings of people like, ooh, stop unboxing cars. First of all, I love that shit. It's so much fun. Second of all, sales, 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 sales. But let's switch it up a little bit. So, I have a completely blank, completely blank sticky notepad of which I am going to tell hood cartoon stories of from our past for the old people. Scrappy, don't get cute. So, tonight's episode will be Doug. What would Doug would have done if he was in the hood? So, y'all ready to go? All right, let's do this. Let's take a shot for Doug. I wish I could remember that purple bitch, man. I should have researched this more honestly because I forgot that purple bitch's name. Keep in mind, I'm making this all up as I go. Nothing is written down. All right, so basically what happened was this is what should really have happened in Doug, right? This is this is going to be the concept, like, the hood version of what should really have happened in Doug. So, even in the hood version, Doug is a really good dude. But I feel like Patty Mayonnaise be throwing that pussy around, you know what I mean? Like, Patty Mayonnaise be a little loose with it. And I always feel like Roger trying to hit that shit. And it's like, whoa, Roger, chill, right? Like... But, yo, Skeeter, in the hood version, is Doug Shooter. So, Skeeter rolled up on Roger one day and was like, Hey, bruh, what to do what it is? And then Roger was like, Hey, man, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke. And Skeeter was like, All right, cool. But then this purple bitch, whose name I completely forgot, uh, the rich bitch from Doug, who is purple, uh, she, uh, she stayed hating on everybody. So, she called the police. So now the police is here, uh, you know, Skeeter took off, Doug took, everyone took off, they all scattered hood stories, when, the, yo, in the hood, when the police are called, everybody <laughs> runs, so, alright, yo, fast forward to day two, so, Doug's trying to holler at Patty Mayonnaise, right, in this story, Doug is still the good guy, but I feel like Doug always needed to be more aggressive, like, he was just too nice, in the hood stories, he's like, look, Patty, I feel you. You are super pretty. Not only that, but I find you entertaining. We laugh together. We have a lot in common. I really feel like, I feel like we could build a bond together. But Patty Mayonnaise is like, <laughs> I don't know, Doug. I don't know. Shocker, fellas. Shocker. All women want a Doug. All women say they want a Doug. They really don't. They all want a Roger. Those lying bitches. So then Doug's like this bitch. Alright, so then Doug had rolled out, right? Doug had rolled out, and then he was chilling with Skeeter. And so they were, uh, Skeeter's on the side, uh, you know, selling work and shit, doing his thing. Flipping the birds in the kitchen. Flip a bird, flip a bird, flip a bird. So he's over there flipping birds in the kitchen. Doug pops over there. Tell him all his distress and shit. And Skeeter's like, yo, you want me to ride on this motherfucker? And like Doug is like, nah, man, chill, chill. It's all good. It's not even that serious, really. And then, but then that purple bitch, that purple bitch, the rich purple bitch uh, is in Patty Mayonnaise's ear. Telling her that she needs she needs a motherfucker with money. And Doug ain't got no money, man. Doug's a simple man. Doug's just a simple, good, hard-working man. Except Skeeter a rider for him. And Skeeter would fucking dust anybody. That's why I call him Skeeter, you know what I mean? Because he loves cocaine. And he'll kill a motherfucker if he have to. Yo, shots for a motherfucker named Skeeter. Pew, pew, pew. It's 
So after Doug and Skeeter get done talking, they come to the conclusion that Doug just needs to keep it real with Patty. And while Patty is talking to that rich purple bitch, they're undecided because... There's a whole bunch of other shit going on with Roger and then everything else in the system. And so it's a lot of confusion. So finally, Doug stands up for himself. And he was just real with Patty one day. Doug is like, look, I appreciate you. I think you're gorgeous. Uh, but I'm not about to be your simp. Like, like, yo, I got to keep it real with you. Like, don't, don't, don't think just because I'm a nice guy. But shit, let me fix the camera. Don't think just because I'm a nice guy, I'm going to sit around here and get played. Like, I'm not the one. You got me fucked up. So, then that threw Patty off, right? Patty's like, damn, what's going on now? And, yo, but Skeeter's just chilling in the background because anyone that's ever had shooters know. They just chill in the background. Skeeter's out here on point, like, what? Which motherfucker would? But and Patty was like, no, no, dog, I just don't know what I want. But Doug, at this point, has to be like, nah, man, fuck that. I'm tired of this shit. I I'm done with this shit. Like, I'm a nice guy. I got a good job and shit. I'm working at Whole Foods. I'm a manager at Whole Foods. Like, I don't got no... I ain't never killed nobody. I don't sell dope. I, bitch, I, like, I'm just done. Like, at some point, a man reaches his breaking point. Right? Like, damn, how long you gotta chase around Patty Mayonnaise? That's it. Fellas, how long you gotta chase around Patty Mayonnaise? That's all I'm saying. Chase around Patty Mayonnaise gets old after a while. So, damn, Beat. I think Beat was that fucking purple bitch's name. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense because she's purple. But Beat just keeps bumping fucking the purple bitch, the rich purple bitch. Just keeps bumping mad shit in her ear. And then so one day, fucking Roger comes through and fucking shoots up the whole spot. The whole fucking spot. Yo, three houses hit. It was fucking madness. Doug caught one in the arm. We're talking total fucking anarchy, man. And Arky 99. Just total brutalness. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Doug got shot, man. But Doug didn't die. You know what I mean? Doug, after after the neighborhood got shut up, got on the phone with Skeeter. And he was like, yo, Skeeter, yo, fuck it, man. I'm done with this shit. But Skeeter said, nah, man, you're a good guy. You got to stay a good guy. Leave the dirty work to people like me, which is respectable. That's why I respect Skeeter in this story. Because he wants to keep Doug on track. You know what I mean? Like, we can't have Doug going off pace, fucking going and shooting up shit. We don't want our good guy to turn into the bad guy. Or do we? Skeeter, on the other hand, he don't give a fuck. He down for whatever. So now, it's a vicious assault. Fast forward, Skeeter and Roger embrace each other. At fucking Steak and Shake. Alright? Because it's free fries. Because it's a pandemic. And they're giving out free fries. And they run into each other. They got their masks on though. Black Lives Matter. And they got their masks on. And so, you know, they're... So, Skeeter don't... The thing about Skeeter is, he don't really be talking that shit, man. He real quiet. The it's the quiet ones you gotta watch out for. I'm telling you, for personal Ernie time, I've rumbled with a lot of people. It's the quiet ones that you really got to watch out for. So Skeeter just chills. He lets Roger talk all that fucking bullshit. Womp, 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 womp. At this point, Skeeter says, are you done? And Roger says, what you going to do about it? Click, clack, boom. Oh, shit. Roger's dead. Ernie. Yeah. Okay, Roger's dead and Lacey's trying to sleep. So Roger's dead, Lacey's trying to sleep. What's going to happen next? You know why Doug had to kill Roger? Or you know why Skeeter had to kill Roger? Because if not, Doug was going to turn back. And 
Skeeter didn't want that. And you gotta respect that in a friend. You gotta respect that. You can't wait for your guy to go bad. You can't. Meanwhile, the whole time, that ass Roger was fucking the purple bitch to pollute Patty Bandaze's head with the bullshit that was going on. <sighs> Hood stories of everyone's favorite cartoon, volume one. Hope you enjoy. Oh yeah, brother, I know what I did. Yo, Doug still didn't get Patty because she's unsure. If you guys want a final ending, she's still unsure because women. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Look forward. I'm going to drop these once a week. Once a week. So if you guys enjoy these, let me know in the comments. Pretty, pretty, please. If you guys absolutely hate it, let me know. I'll dead this series. Uh, but I would love your guys' feedback. Again, no clue when shit's gonna drop. My life's in chaos right now. YouTube jail. Love you guys. Back has from Mafia! Puff Gang. Pew!